are having a baby early. So with all of the stress that was on top of us and everything that was going on, it made our lives so much easier that we had a roof over our head. And it was one less thing that we had to think about during this strenuous time and all of the unknowns that come with number one, having your first baby, and then number two, being uprooted out of your hometown and airlifted to Kingston. And there was just so many crazy things that were happening at the time. So on and off for a period of 72 days, my husband and I stayed at almost home. And ever since then, we have could not speak highly enough about our experience at Almost Home. The staff was incredibly gracious. They understand that everyone there is going through something incredibly difficult. Nobody wants to have their kid in the hospital. No one can ever anticipate having their kid in the hospital. And to not have to think about where you're going to sleep, how you are financially going to be able to pay for the roof over your head, not needing to worry about trying to book hotel rooms and the unknown that goes with having your child sick in an NICU as well. Um, I know for us, we were taken in and out of the hospital multiple times. We were moved from hospital to other hospitals and a whole bunch of other stuff that all happened. And the one thing that really, really stuck with my husband and I was the fact that we always knew when we were going to Kingston that almost home had us. We knew that every time we got transferred back to that hospital, that we would have a roof over our head during this crazy time that we were going through. So it was one less stress on us as a young couple having our first child. And we cannot say enough good things about almost home. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that you all know how appreciative we are and that we are always here to help and that the one message that I want to get across is that no one ever anticipates needing to, or having a sick child, I guess is the best way to put it. No one ever feels that their child is going to be the one that is sick. Nobody ever thinks that their pregnancy could take a turn and that you may end up being rushed to the hospital and having a premature baby or other things like that. And that is why I feel that Almost Home sometimes is an afterthought where a lot of people don't realize that it's such a needed service because when you are on, just thrown into that, you need a spot that you can feel at home and that's exactly what Almost Home does. Every day, Almost Home works with up to 11 families just like the Bedore family. To support this work, please consider calling in with a donation to 613-548-8255. Every contribution counts and you'll be sent a charitable tax receipt for your donation. Let's take you back to our silent auction command center. Jen, what do you have for us? We're back at the Almost Home Silent Auction Command Center with donations from Lowe's Kingston. Lowe's wants to get you ready for the seasons ahead and has provided two beautiful donations. As you know, the leaves are turning and will soon fall screaming to the earth. Fortunately, Lowe's has your back with the Pool in Pro gas powered leaf blower. This blower, vacuum, mulcher retails around $300 and will be a great buy today. Did you know that according to the Canadian Weather Service and Sandy, my personal psychic, we've got a cold and wet winter on the way. No one likes shoveling. It's hard on the back. It makes your coat sweaty. It's gross. Stop doing it. Head over to the auction and bid on this blower, the Husqvarna ST151 gas-powered snowblower, retailing at $7.99. And look at it. It looks like a race car had a baby with a transformer. It's beautiful. If you'd like to bid on these items or take a look at the 150 items we have up for bidding, please head over to Max Sold Kingston now. Back to you, Julie. Thanks, Jen. I'd like now to introduce our next performer. Standing by, we have storyteller and songwriter Amy Bishop, who has collaborated with Moby, open for April Wine, Farmer's Daughter, and Chris Cummings. She has crisscrossed the continent, stunning audiences with powerful and intimate performances. Please welcome to the Almost Home at Home Gala, Amy Bishop.
When I was 18 years old I never thought about tomorrow Every day just another day Never looked far down any road Never made any plans Until you took my hands Now I'm painting pictures Of Paris and Rome Making love by the ocean Somewhere in Mexico It's like I'm already there You and I on that shore waiting For the morning sun well, That's a picture worth painting Not long after our wedding day Found out a baby was on the way It's not the way it was supposed to be Wanted more time just to me It wasn't part of the plans But then I held that little man And now I'm painting pictures Handprints on my fridge door Counting each clumsy footstep A scribble mark on the floor It's like I'm already there And he's at the window waiting For his mom to come home That's a picture worth painting It turned out to be Nothing like I thought it would be It's not the life I asked for It's so much more Now I'm painting pictures Of you and I growing old Laughter lining our faces And of all our kids coming home It's like I'm already there We're gathered round the table waiting For the big, big news Expect a grandchild in June hmm. Well, that's a picture worth painting Thank you so much for listening and thank you for supporting Almost Home I'm grateful to have been part of this, and I hope you enjoy all the music you're hearing. Thank you. My voice that soars, what will I speak of? My eyes to see, what will I look? These boots to walk, well, will they show up? Gotta give up my people, please, and wait, share the lies of yesterday. Yeah, these hands are strong, but will they break through? The swell laid walls of doubt and shame. My heart's been drenched in brick and mortar. But I brought the wall into the world, and I can tear it down. So watch out. See the haze is lifted. My 
hounding heart won't be contained And I can hear the faintest whisper Rolling, driving, thumping, rising on my soul It gotta sing, watch out Keep them locked inside of me Where I can choose to live them Thank you, Amy, for that beautiful performance and for being with us tonight. We are so grateful to the artists and art institutions who have joined Almost Home to offer support. One institution has stood as a beacon for the arts in Eastern Ontario for nearly 40 years. Tonight, we have with us the artistic director of the Thousand Islands Playhouse, Brett Christopher, with a presentation that reminds us that the fire of the arts must be kept lit even in the darkness of a pandemic. Here to support Almost Home and the kids and families who rely on it, please welcome the Thousand Islands Playhouse. Oh, let me play the fool. With mirth and laughter, let old wrinkles come. And let my liver rather uh, heat with wine than my heart cool with mortifying groans. Hmm. Why should a man whose blood is warm within sit like his grandsire, cut in alabaster, sleep when he wakes, or creep into the jaundice by being peevish. I'll tell thee what, Antonio, I love thee, and tis my love that speaks. Hmm? There are a sort of men whose visages do uh, cream and mantle like a standing pond, and do a willful stillness entertain with purpose to be dressed in an opinion of wisdom, gravity, profound conceit. And who should say, I am Sir Oracle, and when I open my lips, let no dog bark. <laughs> Rough. My good Antonio, I do know of those that therefore are reputed wise for saying nothing when I'm very sure if they should speak would almost damn those ears, which hearing them would call their brothers fools. I'll tell thee more of this another time, but um, fish not with this melancholy bait for this fool gudgeon, this opinion. Yes, good Lorenzo. Fare thee well a while. I'll uh, end my exhortation after dinner. Thank you, Jen and the Thousand Islands Playhouse for being with us. And if you're just tuning in, this is the Almost Home at Home Charity Gala. Thank you so much for being with us. 
You can catch this gala across several mediums. By radio, you can hear us on 101.9 CFRC-FM. By Kojiko's cable television, you can watch on your TV cable channel 13 and HD cable channel 700. Or tune in on the internet by visiting our live Facebook broadcast on Almost Home's Facebook page or stream on www.almosthome.on.ca. Every day, Almost Home works with local clinics and hospitals to support families with sick or injured children. Nearly 40% of the families the charity supports is supporting a newborn in Kingston General Hospital's neonatal unit. Tonight, we are excited to introduce two important NICU team members. Claire Bowley, a social worker for the Women and Children's Program at KHSC, and Dr. Bob Connolly, head of pediatrics at KGH. Both here to speak further about Almost Home and the service it provides. Good evening, Julie. Thanks so much for including me in this wonderful event for Almost Home, an organization that's close to my heart. Being a social worker in the NICU, I get to see firsthand how Almost Home benefits our families. Having a baby in the NICU is a very stressful life event. It's often unexpected, and many of our families do not live in Kingston. Some of the babies stay for a few days, others stay for months. Parents are so worried. They're worried about their baby. Will the baby be okay? How will they manage? Will they have to commute back and forth? Will they have to stay in a hotel? Being around for a while, I remember when Almost Home didn't exist. It was devastating for families. Some of them left the hospital not knowing when they'd be able to come back and see their baby. Some were able to stay in a hotel. Some of them had to sleep in their cars. It was very, very difficult. Thankfully, a dedicated group of people in our community saw the need and stepped into action. They generously donated their time, their energy, resources, and money. And in November 1992, Almost Home opened its doors. They've never looked back, and I've had them on speed dial ever since, 613-548-8255. I've had the privilege of working with many wonderful volunteers, staff, and managers over the years. They've always been warm and friendly and always been willing to lend a helping hand. Knowing we have this resource for our families makes our job so much easier. Being able to tell them about this safe and warm house is fantastic. Not only is it close by, but it's also affordable. The look of relief that crosses the parents' faces when they hear this news is obvious. We're also relieved because we know our families will be well taken care of. And when they come back to the NICU to see the baby, they're always telling us what a wonderful place Almost Home is. We also want to point out that we are so grateful that Almost Home has found a safe way to stay open during this pandemic. We know it wasn't easy, but as always, the people of Almost Home have found a way to make this happen. I've seen many changes in healthcare over the years, but one thing that hasn't changed is Almost Home's unwavering support for families of pedi pediatric patients, both inpatient and outpatient. We are so grateful to you, Almost Home. You make a difference. We couldn't do it without you. Thanks so much. I would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for your support of Almost Home. Almost Home is a great resource for our families, and we know that we couldn't do our job without them. So thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Bob Connolly, Claire Bowley, and to everyone in our NICU unit for your dedication to children and families in need. We hope you take a moment to visit the Almost Home webpage or Facebook to see the sponsors dedicated to supporting Almost Home. Special thanks to Carico Group of Companies for coming on as a platinum sponsor to both this event and the Almost Homes Golf Tournament this past September. Thank you to everyone at Carico for helping Almost Home in its mission and for being with us tonight as we celebrate and fundraise for this important charity. 
Speaking of fundraising, our next guest played a key part in generating the funds that set Almost Home on its course. The year was 1991, and on a warm summer night, his band, The Tragically Hip, together with Blue Rodeo, took the stage at Fort Henry to raise money for a fledgling charity. To tell us a little more about this important date in Kingston's past, please welcome The Tragically Hips and Kingston its own, Rob Baker. Hi, I'm Rob Baker, and you may remember me from such bands as The Tragically Hip. Well, I first became aware of Almost Home sometime in 1990. My mother-in-law was a neonatologist at the KGH working in the NICU, and uh, our band was trying to find a focus for our charity work, and Ruth filled me in on the work that Almost Home does, and I took it to the band. And first off, I, there was no way I could say no to my mother-in-law anyway, so it would have been a fool. But it was actually a perfect fit. Uh, Gord Sinclair's family and Gord Downey's family both had first-hand experience of what it's like when one of your young members, young family members, is stricken with a life-threatening illness. And it just seemed uh, it was a good fit. If we could do our small part to help alleviate the suffering and hardships that parents and families experience in such devastating circumstances, then we needed to do that. So in August of 1991, we staged a charity concert at Fort Henry. And uh, with the help of Blue Rodeo and the local community, we were able to raise a significant significant amount of money to help Almost Home get their digs on William Street up and running and functional. And that's sort of the how, when, where of why the hip got involved with Almost Home. This is something I've continued to follow through the years. Uh, I just want to offer on behalf of myself and my bandmates a hearty thank you uh, to the staff of Almost Home and to all of those who support it. Uh, for so many families, uh, you're lighting a candle on their darkest night. And for that, we thank you. From everyone at Almost Home, thank you, Rob, for being part of the spark that has brought us all here this evening. Next, we bring you a special performance by another celebrated Kingston musician. He has worked with nearly every major Canadian musician under the sun and has created music that has become interwoven into the fabric of our country, including his song, Stick Out By The Door, to commemorate the humble Broncos bus tragedy, with all profits going toward the hockey team. In 2019, he released Perfect Ten, a song that has reached number two on iTunes country charts and stayed on the top ten for almost two weeks. You may know him as Smitty Kingston. Please welcome Jay Smith. Good evening, folks. This is Jay Smith. I'm a local singer-songwriter from Kingston, Ontario, Canada, and I am more than honored to be asked to be a part of tonight's Almost Home Gala. Um, thank you for tuning in, and I want to thank you in advance for helping us out uh, to raise money for Almost Home. It's a, it's a fantastic program, and the house... They take people in when their kids are at one of the hospitals here in town at KGH or Hotel Du um, and they help out uh, tremendously so they need your help now so hopefully you can do that. Uh, I again I'm proud to be here and be a part of this almost home. As a father um, I would I would be more than thankful and grateful uh, for a place like this if my children were to be uh, in the hospital for a lengthy amount of time and we needed some place to be and some support so uh, I, I again help out when you can and that's how I raise my kids if you can help somebody you help them and this is uh, my way of helping I'm gonna sing a few songs for you a couple songs and uh, hopefully you enjoy them and hopefully you can help out almost home thank you again and have a great rest of your night Seven, just have her home by nine. I ain't sure that I'm good with this, but her mama said it's fine. Know that I'm not ready to 
to see her out on her first date. I think she's way too young, and maybe she should wait. But my little girl is all grown up, and I never got the manual on how to deal with this stuff. Well, I know that I should trust in her in the things she says. If she's anything like her mama, then I know that she knows best. Well, that first date that they had, it cleared up all my fears. And now they've got a home together and been married a couple years. Maybe someday they'll have some little girls of their own. And I'll say, my little girl is all grown up. And I never got the manual on how to deal with this stuff. I know that I should trust in her in the things she says. If she's anything like her mama, then I know. say my little girl is all grown up i never got the manual on how to deal with this stuff i know that i should trust in her and the things she says she's just like her mama with a little bit of her father yeah i'm glad she's just like her mama cause i know she knows best Yeah, I'm proud she's just like her mama Cause I know that she knows best That's an original song of mine called She Knows Best. You can uh, you can find that uh, anywhere you want if you enjoyed that one. But we're not here for that. We're here for Almost Home. Thank you for tuning in, you guys. Um, my name's Jay Smith. I'm from right here in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Born and raised, so I am proud to be part of this uh, gala this evening. I'm going to do one more song for you and get out of your collective hairs so you can enjoy the rest of your night. Um, support where you can. Um, donate. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's much appreciated. So, so much. This is a song I wrote, it's called Butterflies. This time I think it's gone too far Looks like we wrecked it beyond fixing I don't know what to do or how to fight for me and you the same First time, it's the worst time me, I get nervous. Either one of us deserve this. Somehow life don't turn out like it should. So I'm counting on my mind to remember better times when I gave you butterflies. All I did was make you smile. Do you believe in true love in a God up above? Well, I do. Don't you ever think I'll give up on me and you? times I've sat and cried in the dark like a child that's who I am you may not understand the way you pulled in my heartstrings you became my everything and that scared me so I ran if you corner me I get nervous either one of us deserve this somehow life don't turn out like it should so I'm counting on my mind to remember
I get nervous. Corner me, I get nervous. Corner me, I get nervous. If you corner me, I get nervous. Corner me, I get nervous. Corner me, I get nervous. Well, I'm counting on my mind to remember better times when I gave you butterflies. All I did was make you smile. Thank you so much, my friends. Take care of yourselves, and please donate when you can, if you can. Everything is appreciated, and uh, thank you. Almost Home Gala. Have a good rest of your night. Take care, and uh, I love you all in different ways. Thank you, Jay, for being with us tonight. This is Almost Home's At Home Charity Gala. The phone lines are still open to accept your donation. Please consider calling 613-548-8255 to donate. Your donation will be put to work, helping families with kids receiving medical care. Almost Home needs you, so please consider calling. When Gananoque thinks of avant-garde comedy art, they think of Scotty Stonis. While no longer cruising the Second City Comedy Clubs, Scotty can be found cruising the riverside town of Gann, where his unique comedy routines and street performances keep a town's comedic spirit alive. We know that those tuning in by radio will miss much of this act. Instead, we ask that you in Radioland might take a moment to view our live silent auction featured on Max Solt, and stay with us for a few minutes of old-timey organ music. Now, please enjoy the strange and wonderful Scotty Stonis in Scotty Dreams of Chicken. <laughs> home is where the memories are, whether you're home or almost home. Hi, <laughs> right, Cindy. I'm gonna tickle fight. Thanks for cleaning up the dog poop. Say hi to Chuck. Welcome back to the Almost Home Silent Auction Command Center.
to view our silent auction, please head over to maxsoul.com. Find us by searching local auctions or look up auctions in Kingston. We will be mailing all gift certificates directly to you. We have over 150 items donated by local businesses for you to peruse. So please head over to maxsoul.com and help Almost Home support families with sick children. Do you have a chair in your living room that remembers the moon landing? Do you avert your eyes from it when you walk into the room telling yourself everything's fine? Now's your chance for change. From Leon's Kingston, we have this lovely upholstered Heavenly Mocha living room chair. It's gonna be floor mounted. And to further take command of your living space, we have this lovely rustique Maria Hydro Wax gray coffee table with antique hardware bigger than my apartment. Thank you, Leons, for this lovely donation and for supporting Almost Home. Now, for those wishing to keep warm during those long winter months, those seven months of cold, wet darkness, we have from Jacob Nathan and Ashley Home Store, a Dimplex Wilson mantle and firebox. This arts and crafts design has an oak finish and inner glow logs. It'll heat up any room in your house and look beautiful doing it. This mantle and electric firebox retails for $1,190. Please head over to maxhole.com now. Auction closes at 8.30 p.m. Back to you, Julie. Thank you, Jen, and thank you, Scotty. The mission of Almost Home is to help families with kids in need. Sometimes these families return again and again to Almost Home as their child receives ongoing treatment that may span a decade or more. It is a privilege for the staff at the home to connect with these guests and become a small part of their story. One of these families is here with us tonight. Please join me in welcoming the Miles family, here to bring us their experience at Almost Home. Hi everyone joining the Almost Home Online Gala. I'm Ashley Miles and my husband Daryl Miles. Um, we're gonna keep this short and sweet for you guys. Uh, our little girl, Emma, decided to arrive three months early, weighing two pounds, two ounces. This, in terms, meant we were going to have a long stay in the NICU. We needed somewhere to go. Our home for the next 65 days was almost home. So, let's raise our glasses to the staff, the volunteers, and everybody who donates that gives people like us somewhere to stay when their child is sick in the NICU. Cheers to the NICU staff and to everybody at Almost Home to give us a roof over our heads. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you, Daryl, Ashley, and Emma for being with us. Through its 28 years, Almost Home has helped thousands of families just like those we've featured this evening. Every penny of the funds acquired by Almost Home are received through donations. Almost Home receives no government or agency funding and instead relies on the generosity of our community. If you have funds to give, we encourage you to phone 613-548-8255. Almost Home staff and volunteers are eager to take your call. To make a donation on the Almost Home website, please visit www.almosthome.on.ca. We would like to take another moment to thank another important sponsor. Haven Home Climate Care has championed Almost Home for years as a supporter of multiple events and as a caretaker of the home's heating and cooling. From everyone at Almost Home, thank you Haven Home, Marcy McMullen, and all the staff for your volunteerism and support. Up next, Almost Home is proud to present a singer-songwriter whose poetry and light-hearted expression through song has earned him praise right across the continent. He has earned top spots on Canadian and American folk charts and placed first in the Great American Song Contest. Singing about hockey, hardships, pulp mills and grassroots activism, he has placed himself in the great tapestry of Canadian folk luminaries. Please welcome, all the way from Pictou County, Nova Scotia, Dave Gunning. Cold 
weather comes and the earth begins to freeze with a pale yellow glow. The stubble in the fields, a lonely scarecrow watching with nothing left to do but wait when the cold weather comes. Then comes the falling snow that will settle in and stay and the wind blows it around but won't blow it away. Beneath the frosty blanket in the midwinter bleak fast asleep when the cold weather comes. When the cold weather comes, this town will grow quiet in the whisper of the wind. I'll push a hole through the silence. We'll gather in the kitchen, play the tunes a little longer. The wood burns hotter when the cold weather comes. There's a time to think about the seasons come and gone And the one that lies ahead that will spring up from the ground You may have a chance to get some rest You might even catch your breath when the cold weather comes It's right, we'll know it's the time when we feel like we're missing the world going by. When cabin fever swells, there's a way to break free and time to leave when the cold weather comes. We'll enter the doors to the pops of the towns where it's better to be early ahead of the crowd where all the girls stand in line with barely nothing on. They're the toughest ones. When the cold weather comes Raise your glass To the seasons come and gone And the one that lies ahead That will spring up from the ground You may have a chance to get some rest You might even catch your breath When the cold weather comes There's time to think about The seasons come and gone And the one that lies ahead That will spring up from the ground have a chance to get some rest You might even catch your breath When the cold weather comes go thanks so much a little celebratory song about cold weather for all those people who actually like cold weather anyway uh, thanks so much everybody for tuning in and supporting this great cause uh, it's an honor to be associated and uh, I want to thank thank all the folks at almost home for the great work and uh, and um, please uh, please support today um, I'll leave you with this song Some hands have held the world together Some hands have fought in wars forever Tell me what shall I do with these hands of mine Some hands have blessed a million people some hands helped free the world from evil Tell me what shall I do with these hands of mine What shall I do with these hands of mine What shall I do with these hands of mine The world could use a hero of the humankind so tell me what shall I do with these hands of mine some hands can stop a life from dying 
And some hands comfort a baby crying Tell me what shall I do With these hands of mine What shall I do With these hands of mine What shall I do With these hands of mine The world could use a hero Of the human kind So tell me what shall I do With these hands of mine I want to sing it from my heart I want to hear it in the wind Till it blows around the world And comes back again And all that we can ask Is for ours to be free To use them when we want For whatever the need Some hands give voice to a nation And some hands wrote the times they are a-changing So tell me what shall I do with these hands of mine? Sing along if you're out there. What shall I do with these hands of mine? What shall I do with these hands of mine? The world could use a hero of the humankind. So tell me what shall I do? With these hands of mine What shall I do With these hands of mine What shall I do With these hands of mine The world could use a hero Of the humankind So tell me what shall I do With these hands of mine Tell me, what shall I do with these hands of mine? Thanks so much again. All the best. Thanks, thanks to everybody at Almost Home. And thanks everybody for the support. From tonight's title sponsor, we have a McDonald's of Kingston and Gananoque Ultimate Prize Pack, which includes a signed copy of ABC of Canada, one Cuisinart coffee maker, six Happy Meals, 24 extra value meals, two McCafe coffee mugs, two bags of McCafe premium roast coffee, three bottles of McCafe coffee flavoring syrups, all for a value of $685. You might be thinking, can I make a coffee at home using McDonald's premium roast coffee and McDonald's McCafe flavoring syrups? and still stop at my favorite McDonald's drive through to get my morning coffee? Yeah, you can. You're an adult now and you can do pretty much whatever you want. If you have kids, ABC of Canada is a classic award-winning children's book by authors Per Henrik Gerth and Kim Belafontaine, and it's signed. We have a Cuisinart coffee maker, six Happy Meals, 24 extra value meals. That's enough extra value meals to make it rain extra value meals. This truly is an outstanding prize. Thank you, McDonald's, Kingston, and Gananoque for all your support. Back to you, Julie. Great stuff, Jen, and thank you, Dave Gunning. To bid on any of the items Jen is showcasing or any of the 150 silent auction items available, please head to maxsold.com and search Kingston. It is a universal fact that Eastern Ontario produces an uncanny amount of highly talented musicians and storytellers. Our next guest is surely counted amongst this group. He is a songwriter, composer, music director, and playwright. His music celebrates our relationship with our land and the spirit of our nation. He has recorded with RCA, Mr. Dress Up, and has written and performed on Sesame Street. The list goes on and includes producing the first recording of pop star Avril Lavigne. We are thankful for his presence with us tonight and for being a force for love in our community. Performing from his tent somewhere along the St. Lawrence, please give a warm welcome to Dave Archibald. Oh, hi, Julie. Hey, I just set up my tent out in the backyard. Come and have a look. Mm -hmm. 
my mom said, listen, now school is done. We're going camping, gonna have some fun. And that's all right. That's all right. Mm, that's all right. Pack up the family, load up the car. Before you know it, why there you are. And that's all right. That's all right. It's all right. Everybody went camping out tonight. I said, everybody went camping out tonight. I'm gonna build a fire. Gonna cook some more. Gonna feel the magic of the great outdoors And that's all right That's all right Oh, that's all right Look, there's an eagle Oh, look, there's a moose Oh, there's a chipmunk ah, They're on the loose But that's all right Thank you, David, for being a point of inspiration to all ages and for being a champion of arts in our community. Kingston is fortunate to have leadership that is truly invested in creating a city, province, and country that works for everyone. MPP Ian Arthur, a longtime community activist, has worked for years to see that our area's residents are protected and heard. We are grateful to have Ian with us here tonight. To those just tuning in, this is the Almost Home at Home Gala, and we are proud to present a message from our MPP, Ian Arthur. Hi everybody, this is Ian Arthur, the MPP for Kingston and the Islands, and I just want to give a big shout out to Almost Home and the wonderful work that they do helping families with sick children. This community is better for the support and the work that this organization provides. In their 28 years, they've helped over 6,000 families with sick kids. So congratulations on the good work. Keep it up. Thank you for everything you do to, for this community. Welcome back to the Almost Home at Home Charity Gala Auction Command Center. I'm Gemma McAuliffe. To bid on any items you see tonight, please head over to maxsoul.com and search your local auctions. 
The great Red Green once said, if they don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Well, this evening, Almost Home and Rona Kingston want to send you on your quest to find your new handy self. From Rona Kingston, we have this Craftsman 7 and 1 quarter inch corded circular saw, perfect for a home shop. As proof that you can be handy and handsome, we have this Craftsman 10 inch miter folding saw, perfect for the novice or the professional. I'd love it. Maybe you want to be handy, but your workspace is too dark and you can't see anything. Again, Rona has your back with this dual pair of Uber House portable light and stand. Don't work in the dark like some kind of mole person. Get some lights, they're sleek. Remember, these make excellent Christmas gifts. The season is coming and each purchase goes to support Almost Home and the families it serves. It really is a triple Christmas gift. You get your shopping handled, your loved one gets something special, and you support families with sick kids. Also, please head over to our website, www.almosthome.on.ca, and take a look at the 38 companies who came on as sponsors for tonight's event. We couldn't do it without all these amazing companies. Thank you for tuning in to the Almost Home at Home Gala. Back to you, Julie. Thank you, Mr. Arthur, for being with us tonight. We'd like to extend special thanks to Dr. James Reynolds, Chief Scientific Officer at Kids Brain Health Network for coming on as a platinum sponsor for tonight's event. Almost Home could not function without the generosity of our medical community's members. Next up, Almost Home is excited to present Chris Murphy, member of Kingston's famed Turpin's Trail and popular Kingston singer-songwriter. Chris was born in Kingston, but cod liver oil swims through his veins as he channels the best of East Coast music traditions, a gift he brings to us tonight. Without further ado, please welcome Chris Murphy. Thanks, Julie. Uh, yes, my name is Chris Murphy, and I am a singer-songwriter. Uh, I've, I've been a professional musician in the Kingston area all my life, and uh, I'm really pleased and, uh, and honored to be uh, part of this gala. Um, as I say, having having lived in, in the Kingston area all my life and being the father of two, uh, two daughters, uh, Almost Home is a, uh, is a very important and, uh, and amazing service for, uh, for the people in this area and people that come um, to this area for our, for our hospitals. Uh, thankfully, I can say that my, other than a, the odd trip to the outpatient clinic, my girls have not had to, uh, had to use the services of Almost Home or had to, had to have an extended stay in the hospital at all uh, up to this point. Uh, but speaking as a parent, I know that uh, your your kids' well-being is uh, is your first and foremost priority. So uh, almost home really uh, steps up and, and helps people uh, when they're really when they're at their most vulnerable. Um, so thank you, uh, thank you for all that you do, and and uh, and thank you for asking me to be part of the uh, the gala. I'm going to sing a couple of uh, of my own songs for you. The first one is one. Uh, it's called Skipping Stone. <laughs> Skipping 
stone in that you only get one throw oh life's a skipping stone it's up to you then where you go going to sing, uh, the other song I'm going to sing for you is uh, the title track of a CD that I recorded down in Cape Breton. Uh, got to work with a wonderful musician down there by the name of J.P. Cormier, uh, who recorded and, and produced this album. The album is called Finally Coming Home, and uh, so I will send it out to, uh, to many of the families that uh, use the Almost Home services. Um, so I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the uh, the rest of the gala. It's been a long four years, three months and sixteen days that I've been gone, but I'm coming home today. The train stops at the station of the town where I was born and it finally sinks into me that I'll be home this morn so as I walk along the long and winding road I remember every rock and tree and I don't have far to go I'll soon sit in the kitchen with the family that I know
much. Thank you, Chris, and thank you to everyone for tuning in to tonight's program. Special thanks go to Kingston's Pure Country 99 and 98.3 Fly FM for years of support and for coming on as media sponsors for another Almost Home Gala. Big thanks also to the Kingston Wig Standard for championing our event and for helping Almost Home bring this event to our community. We could not do this without our partners in the media, and we are so grateful for Pure Country, Fly FM, and the Kingston Wig Standards help. Our next piece blends dance and song and presents multiple Juno Award-winning musician Oscar Lopez and TK Dance Works' Sarah Kears, who together bring us the first and only at-home dance performance. We have a message from Oscar Lopez coming through. Oscar, are you there? Hello there, how are you? My name is Oscar Lopez, and I gotta tell you, I'm very excited, very happy, and very honored to be part of this uh, charity coming up for Almost Home. I think children are very important, are the future of this country, are the future of the world, really. So it's important to give them a hand. I have a son who is 13, and believe me, I will do anything for him. I think uh, I wish you all the best and I'll be there with my music. Ciao. Thank you, Oscar. As we get set up for Oscar and Sarah, let's go over those gold sponsors supporting tonight's event. As always, we encourage you to support those businesses that support us. Our gold sponsors are All Safety Consulting, Bar Homes, Dr. Ben Musari, Cushman and Wakefield, Edward Jones, Peter C. Schlink, Pure Ingenuity, Susan Reynolds at IG Wealth Management, Quality Tax, Thomas Lemon and Sons, Sousa Ready Mix, and Exclusive Cooling Limited. Thank you for supporting Almost Home and for being with us tonight. I'm getting word that the performers are ready. Please take it away, Oscar Lopez and Sarah Kears of TK Danceworks.
smoking. We are back at the Auction Command Center to let you know the auction will be closing soon. Please, if you haven't been there yet, head over to MaxSoul.com. Take a look at the 150 auction items available. We have gift certificates to Kingston's best restaurants, golfing packages, winery tours, $500 on Via Rail, jewelry, designer clothing, massages, and so much more. Check out these items and the companies who donated. We could not operate without these wonderful businesses, so please take a look. Speaking of wonderful businesses, Upper Canada Office Systems has donated this steel case EMEA Air with black frame and graphite fabric. This is a new assembled office chair. This bad boy retails for $1,236 and has literally never been sat upon. The purchaser of this chair, and we are making a guarantee of this, will have been the first person to ever sit on this chair. We will even put a sign on the chair indicating to not sit on the chair. The chair does everything. It goes up and down, backwards and forwards, whatever you need to suit you. Perfect for the home office or just to roll around in your sitting room. Thank you Upper Canada Office Systems for your years of support in this amazing auction item. From Canadian Tire at Kingston Centre, we have this Dyson Ball Animal 2 Upright Vacuum. Perfect for pet hair, tight corners and messes of all kinds. This baby retails for $600, so tonight you might get a real deal. And if you have a dog who sheds, you need this. That dog's summer coat is about to come off and that hair will take from you so much of what you hold dear, including your favorite sweater. The vacuum calls you. Please head to maxsoul.com now. Not to be outdone, Canadian Tire on Princess and Gardener has come through with this Westinghouse 58 inch Ultra HD TV. Watch TV like a Roman prince with this absolutely massive Roku equipped 4K ultra high definition flat screen TV. You've heard of TVs putting you in the game. This TV puts the game in you. Thank you Canadian Tire for this wonderful donation. And again, to all the companies who came through for us tonight. The auction closes at 8.30 p.m. Please head to Max Sold now and find some great deals and support families with sick kids. That's all for me at the At Home Auction Command Center. I'm Jennifer McAuliffe. Back to you, Julie. We've heard from our mayor and our MPP. And so the night would not be complete without words from our MP, Mark Gerritsen, a native of Kingston. Rumor has it that Mr. Gerritsen once did a high school project on Almost Home. We are happy to have the support of Mr. Gerritsen and the staff and volunteers at his office. Please give a warm welcome to our MP for Kingston and the Thousand Islands, Mark Gerritsen. Thank you, Julie, and thank you everyone for being here this evening. I'm so pleased to join you virtually to support Almost Home. While I'm sure we all wish we could be doing this in person, this event reminds me of the resilience and community spirit that unites the residents of Kingston and the islands. Resilience is something that the community at Almost Home knows a lot about. For years, the staff and volunteers have worked hard to build a home away from home for sick children and their families. When a family stays at Almost Home, they can be confident they will receive high quality care and support, allowing them to focus on what really matters and what's really important, their family. After spending so much time in lockdown over the last year, I think we all have a new appreciation for what it takes to make a house a home. For that reason, it is important to me personally, and of course on behalf of our whole community, to thank Almost Home's dedicated staff, board, and over 100 volunteers. Without all of you, the comfort Almost Home brings to so many families just wouldn't be possible. So please take tonight to celebrate. People like you make Kingston and the Islands a better place for everyone. Thank you to everyone for tuning in and supporting this event this evening. I hope you all enjoy the exciting lineup of artists and musicians Almost Home has organized for you. Congratulations to the organizers of this gala. And hopefully we could be together again soon in person. Thank you, Mr. Gerritsen, for being with us. Now, as we approach the end of the evening, we need to thank all the amazing companies who sponsored and donated items to our silent auction. Even through these difficult times, restaurants, spas, retail outlets, bookstores, and more have given to Almost Home to support its mission. From the staff, board, and volunteers, thank you for sticking with our charity and being part of making this evening a success. To our viewers, the phone lines are still open and we are still taking donations. Every bit counts.
please call 613-548-8255 to speak to an Almost Home staff member right now. Robert Frost once wrote, Poetry is when an emotion has found its thought and the thought has found words. Few pieces of art are made without poetry and tonight is no exception. Almost Home is proud to present the author of three novels and four books of poetry. Presenting tonight from his living room, please welcome the City of Kingston's Poet Laureate, Jason Haru. Hi, Julie. The first poem I'm gonna read was inspired by looking at a complimentary calendar from the Reddendale Pharmacy. It was a calendar of Norman Rockwell paintings. I think it was called something like Memorable Images by Norman Rockwell, 2020. One day as I was studying the calendar, trying to make sense of time and figure out what day it was, I looked a little closer at the calendar and that closer look inspired this poem, My Life as a Norman Rockwell Calendar. I don't remember January. In February, I was a single glass of orange soda with two straws sipped by young sweethearts. I don't remember March. In April, I was a child with my face pressed up against a pane of glass, gazing upon a bald headed master watchmaker. I don't remember May. I don't remember June. In July, I was on the moon. My heart weighed the same as a golf ball. When August rolled around, I was a woman sitting at the kitchen table as the sun went down, repairing old electric lamps with my eyes closed. I don't remember September. I don't remember October. I don't remember November. I don't remember December. The next poem I'm gonna read was inspired by the act of writing a letter. During the pandemic, I've been keeping in touch with friends by writing letters to them. One day, as I was folding a letter into an envelope, I thought, what a mysterious thing, watching this letter leave home and live its own life. And eventually that sense of mystery grew into this poem. Letter in an envelope. The body is the envelope and the spirit is a letter within, or the spirit is the envelope and the body is within. Either way, the letter gives the envelope purpose. Without the letter, the envelope has nothing to envelop. When the letter slips into the envelope and the envelope is sealed, they are one. And as one, they move through the world and reach another. But for the letter to fully be received, the envelope must be opened, the seal broken. Maybe it's the body being opened. Maybe it's the spirit. Either way, it's in someone's hands. Thank you. Thank you, Jason, for those wonderful poems and for all your contributions to the arts and culture in our region. This is the Almost Home Charity Gala, and thank you for being with us. With that, I introduce musicians from a Kingston Cultural Centerpiece. Please give a warm welcome to Katie Legere and Chris Alfano from the Kingston Symphony Orchestra. Katie has played bassoon with the Kingston Symphony since 1993, and Chris is a frequent performer with the symphony on clarinet and saxophone. Together, they form Time for Two and perform for a wide variety of events in the Kingston area. Take it away, Katie and Chris. Thanks so much for the introduction, Julie. It's a real pleasure to be part of this wonderful evening uh, for the Almost Home Gala. Uh, as members of uh, Kingston Symphony and part of the Kingston Symphony Association, um, we like to uh, talk about our mandate, which is to provide music for the enjoyment and enrichment of uh, audiences in the greater Kingston area and beyond. And it's wonderful work. Uh, we're really happy to be part of, uh, of your gala because Almost Home also does really great work. Um, they provide a simple yet really meaningful uh, gift to families whose kids are being treated at Kingston area hospitals. Uh, and it's just, it's just such a wonderful thing that you guys uh, do for them. So we're really happy to be part of this event. Um, 
The music we're going to play is our simple gift, um, the Shaker hymn, uh, best known from uh, Aaron Copeland's Appalachian Spring, but it's either simple gifts or many people know it as tis a gift to be simple. <laughs> a wonderful black mug with a hooked ceramic handle. Trevor Strong and the Arrogant Worms. Oh, hi, Jen. Uh, I was just in the neighborhood and I thought I'd drop by. I've got a box of these wonderful Arrogant Worms merchandise that I thought would help with Almost Homes Auction. Trevor, that's amazing. What do you have in there? Well, let's just take a look. Well, we got toques. Oh. And we have a hat. Mm. We've got autographed CDs. Oh, and we have the limited edition Arrogant Worm Salad Spinner. Wow, Trevor, I happen to have some wet lettuce right here. Can we take it for a spin? Oh yeah, let's ride, Jen. <laughs> Just stuff it all here in the saddle of the spinner. As you can see, it runs nearly silently. It's bone dry. <laughs> Ready for croutons or perhaps even a blue cheese dressing. And you can use the leftover water as a delightful lettuce juice. You can drink the juice out of a spinner? Probably. Well, just amazing. If you'd like the salad spinner or other arrogant worms memorabilia, please check out Almost Homes Max Sold at Auction. Ending soon. Trevor, thank you for coming out to our Auction Command Center. Thanks for having me. Please stay tuned for a performance from the Arrogant Worms. And back to you, Julie. If you are just joining this broadcast, you are with us for our last and final act. This is the Almost Home at Home Charity Gala. For the last couple of hours, we have been fundraising to support families with sick kids and the mission of Almost Home. If you've been with us throughout the broadcast, thank you for sticking with us. We hope you have enjoyed the various people and organizations that make our region so culturally rich. Our last performance of the evening is like no other, presented by a group like no other, for a fundraiser like no other. 
This trio began with a radio sketch broadcast on CFRC Campus Radio, the very same that is carrying this broadcast. They are back with 13 albums, dozens of hits. They have played concerts from the Grand Canyon to Parliament Hill, and have even had a song used to wake up astronauts on a NASA space flight. Almost Home is proud to present Kingston's Trevor Strong, Mike McCormick, and Chris Patterson, best known as the Arrogant Worms. Uh, hi there, this is Trevor from uh, the Arrogant Worms. Uh, the Arrogant Worms were very, were very happy to be uh, part of this um, fundraising spectacular gala. Um, because of the COVID, all three worms were in, were in different cities. Um, so you're, you're going to see us, uh, instead of all at once, you're going to see us sequentially, sequentially. Um, which, I, I, it's a different Arrogant Worms experience, but uh, I think it's, I think you can kind of try to remember each of us as we go along and put all three of us together in your head and that yeah, probably won't do anything at all. Anyway, I'm very happy to be here. I'm going to sing a, um, sing a little song right now, but a very special animal. The U.S. is the eagle. Russia is the bear. Australia is the kangaroo. Because it's kind of weird down there. Yeah, India is the tiger. Stand so proud and tall of Canada is the greatest of them all. We are the beaver. We're furry and we're free. Yeah, we are the beaver. We got two big front teeth. Yeah, we are the beaver. We can chew right through small trees. We are the beaver. We are the beaver. We are the beaver. You might think a rodent is a pretty lame choice for a national animal but don't you listen to that voice no all them birds and predators just take from the land but the beaver always gives a damn we are the beaver we got cute little webbed feet yeah we are the beaver it's a bark we like to eat yeah we are the beaver the nickel we complete We are the beaver We are the beaver We are the beaver The eagle flies the skies above and Swoops down on its prey The big bear will maul anyone Who dares gets in its way The tiger is the greatest of the hunters today But the beaver, it can build dams can build dams, dams, dams. We are the beaver. We slap our tails with dangers nearby. We are the beaver. We got waterproof hides. Yeah, we are the beaver. We got big bums and beady eyes. We are the beaver. We are the beaver. We are the beaver. Yeah, what are we? We are the beaver. We are the beaver. We are the beaver. Sing along at home. We are the beaver. We are the beaver. We are the beaver. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. Uh, I'd now like to introduce... Uh, the second worm of the evening, Mike McCormick. Let's hear it up for Mike. I know he's, he's going to have some great stuff for us. Mike McCormick, everyone. Thanks, Trevor. And may I say what an honor it is for me to be here. I'm going to sing a little song about transportation. As I get older, I get a bit scattered. I forget where I put my articles. Like last night, I walked into a store for a purchase, and now I can't find my vehicle. 
Has anyone seen my blimp? Has anyone seen my dirigible? Has anyone seen my blimp? It's red. Has anyone seen my blimp? I parked it right here on top of the liquor store. Where, oh, where is my blimp? I sure hope that it's locked. My Prius was pukus, my smart car was stupid. They all were thwarted by traffic. To find my solution, I thought outside the boxster. The answer was inside the airbag. Now does anyone know where my blimp is? Can anyone locate my ride? I've got the license, I've got the registration. I assure you that I am not high. But I'd like to be. Where, oh, where is my blimp? Oh, Has anyone seen my big bag of helium? Or was it hydrogen? So please, if you find it, do not smoke inside my blimp. Blimp. Over to you, Chris. Okay, thanks very much, Mike. That was fantastic. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hi, good evening. Uh, it's uh, Chris here. I'm going to sing a, sing a love song for you. Well, uh, before I do that, I just want to say how excited I am to be at the Almost Home Gala tonight. And uh, so excited I actually got my gala jacket out. Uh, and uh, uh, thanks to Mike and Trevor for wearing their gala jackets as well, because uh, that was the agreement that we had. Uh, I realized I don't really pl uh, use this jacket too often because... Um, well, it's not very comfortable. It doesn't really breathe at all. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to do a love song. And this song is about um, it's about the things that can bring people together. Uh, but it's also, sadly, uh, those very same things that can tear them apart. <clears throat> Honey, been dating for a while now. And there's something you should know. There's a secret I've been keeping Hope it doesn't make you want to go Both had a lot of baggage When we started going out There's some history I've not told you I think it's time to shout I own three pairs of jeans shorts I just love my jeans shorts That fit just perfectly right I got you pairs for daytime And a dressy pair for night I threw out my fanny pack Cause I got so many pockets I love it when they're so worked in You see the outline of my wallet Right there on my jeans show I just love my jeans
Thank you very much. We've been the Arrogant Worms. It's been an absolute pleasure to be here at the Almost Home Gala. What a fantastic uh, uh, organization, a fantastic place uh, for families in Kingston. We are so, so proud to be supporting our hometown and to be supporting Almost Home. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good evening. And so ends the Almost Home Charity Gala. Thank you to the Arrogant Worms and to all the performers, guests, sponsors, donors, and viewers for being with us tonight. Big thank you to Kojiko's Your TV Kingston and CFRC Radio for hosting us. Thank you to McDonald's for championing this event and to Fly FM, Pure Country, and the Kingston Wig Standard for driving our promotions. Thank you to Jennifer McAuliffe and the team at Max Sold for keeping our silent auction pumping and to all those generous companies and owners who donated. For more on Jennifer, please visit her webpage, jenniferjokes.com. Thank you to the Gala Committee for their work putting this all together. This dedicated group of volunteers is made up of Julie Clark, Maxine Clark, Emily Hutchinson, Julia McGregor, Susan Reynolds, Sarah Ross, and Kelly Scott. Major thanks to tonight's video editor-in-chief, Curtis Ireland, our streaming guru, Chris Rostand, and video creator, Alan Code. For 28 years, Almost Home staff and volunteers have kept the home's big yellow door open and ready to serve families in need. With your help, the door will never close, and families with sick children will always have a place to call home. Thank you for being with us tonight and supporting this important charity. I'm Julie Brown. Thank you and good night.